Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all? And in today's video, we are going to review a new concealer. Now, first of all, my voice, I know it's a little too nasally. I have a really bad cold right now. Yeah, like it's really bad. My eyes are watering. Oh. So, yeah, bear with me. So, today we are going to review this Cuffs and Lashes Concealer. This is a very newly launched concealer and we are going to give it a try on slash first impression actually not first impression because this is the third time i'm actually using this so this is not a first impression it is actually a full-blown review because i have tried this concealer twice or thrice already so yeah without any further ado let's get into this video let's go so this is the cuffs and lashes cover it all concealer right and i am in the shade number five custard so since we are talking about the shades let's talk about the shades first so this concealer i believe it has like 11 shades i'll put pictures over here so it has 11 shades and i think four or five corrector slash pigments you know like yellow pigment to make the concealer a little bit darker and orange corrector and all of these things as i was buying this concealer i did see a few swatches Right, and I got the shade number 5. Now this is number 5 and let me put the clip over here of me applying this and as you can see, this concealer is actually very light for me, right? Now I am Maybelline 128 warm nude just for reference. So mostly like NC 25-ish would be my shade in MAC. And for a person who's NC 25 having a concealer, jo number 5 may be uske liye light hai. Why? It's really confusing because I don't think we live in such a country where there are more skin tone for me to remove 6 or 7 concealers for me. Right? Like I am in the top segment of fair skin people. Right? And in our country we have more like medium to dark skin people. And if my skin tone people get their skin tone 6 or 7 number of their skin shade, Imagine like there are 11 shades and fair skin tone people get their skin tone 6 or 7 number of their actual shade So 8, 9, 10, 11 is the only shade left for medium to darker skin tones Like 11 shades, what is the benefit of it? If you have only 8 shades, you have to remove the shade range The shade range is really bad, okay? I'm sorry, criticism where criticism is, the shade range is pathetic This is the same thing that has happened, I believe, in the first one of the cover pots That was the same shade range The shade range was not good not good at all and that is the same thing that has happened this time as well the shade range is poor okay it's, this is not what it should have been if you will look at the very first shade you will see it's almost white who is this white in this country if, if you have to give this this light concealer you already have a white pigment why do we need this concealer shade it's beyond me okay so the shade range is really bad so if you are my shade number five would be lighter for you go for sixth or seventh i don't know i don't know seriously Okay, so this one is 400 rupees and I'm pretty sure if you will buy this from purple because you can only buy this from purple You will definitely get this on some off or on some offer So 399 you will I don't think you will actually pay 400 fully for this product. Okay uh, Now coming to how it applies how I feel about the formula now. I think the brand clearly um, Claims that this is more like a full uh, full coverage concealer and I do feel like the coverage on this concealer is actually good I will not take it away when it comes to the product performance, it does perform well. Uh, I think it is it is not very drying and it doesn't oxidize as well. It is not very drying. So you will feel like I have it. It is sitting good on my skin. Let me just give it a closer look. I just do feel like it did sit fine enough on my skin and I am actually enjoying the concealer in itself. It's just the shade range that did not work for me. And that is like a big bummer. Like why? Right. Another thing that I want to touch up when it comes to this particular brand, and this is my past experience with Cuffs and Lashes. Uh, their products they are very affordable, right? And you will see that their products they do perform, but over the time, the quality of the product it just starts degrading. Okay. I have a few um, concealers over here, and you know they have dried. Okay. I have a glue over here. Okay. This is from Cuffs and Lashes. It has dried. So. These are like, it's not that it's very old, it's been 2-3 months ago, it's been finished in 2-3 months ago, it's been finished in 2-3 So that is how the quality of the products is. So if you are going to buy from this brand, I would definitely say do take care about the fact that they are not the most long-lasting 
products ever like the quality of the ingredients it does somehow reflect because wo utne zyada time tak tikte nahi hai like right and i think this is with every product that they have as a nahi hai ki sirf ek ya do eyeliner ya glue ke sath hai ye bahut sare products ke sath inka consistent ho raha hai other than eye shadow i'm pretty sure so be careful about that as well because i want to clear this thing out because i have bought this with my own money i have bought everything with my own money i know how these products are i don't feel like ki wo paise ka utna worth main nikal pati hu kabhi bhi because these products that don't stay forever right so do keep that in mind as well right and yeah i think that's it for this video like and yeah please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already on youtube as well guys bye bye